We are inside and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. Tonight it's the first of four between the Baltimore Orioles and the Toronto Blue Jays. My dog Mario on the building. Mario was good, man. Mario with the like. I appreciate it, fam. Blue Jays baseball is next. Robbie Ray is ready to go. Yo, be on the we mound five followers Zach, what's the away. Hey Matt, this guy was one pretty good in this last one. He lasted into the seventh inning. Appreciate all y'all, man. I appreciate loss, it. But he pitched awfully well, and sometimes a line score can be deceiving. He pitched much better than taking a loss pitching into the seventh inning. we go all right let's get it uh mario with the like jason with the like and the share what's good jason how you feeling so now here is andre brooks first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on again y'all right, we are five followers away side. from 1k the wind up and the 01 so that's how we get these five followers. This not going to stay fair. Just getting started at the Rogers Center. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. I think I'm aware this fully on my head. Neither guy willing to give. Man, it's the, the same team. man. It's fucking everlasting migraine, man. I don't Here's know what the hell going two. on. I'm gonna actually take some of the stream two and two for a little now. bit. Two away here in the top of the first. And then, uh, I know we buried that slider in right there. I'm gonna go That's grab some meds, take some meds, take a nap, and then we're gonna get busy with these uh, supporter games a little later. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. I'm not, I'm but he's not gonna that. get this one. It's <laughs> into the gap. Oh, did he drop it? But he'll be in there with a double. I didn't even see what happened. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. I didn't even see what happened, man. I thought it was a, I thought it was a out. To drive in the first run of the game. Oh, he missed it. Yo, that was an inside the park home run, bro. Damn, yo, shit always happens when I'm not paying attention. Lifetime numbers against Robbie Ray. Working on the cat program. Hey, Jason, that's what it is. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. Second with two gone. Runners on his way to third. Popped up. Simeon over to his left. He can't believe I just missed that shit. Over. So they can't make anything. Good morning on my way to work, my guy. Hey, good morning, Adam. Appreciate you for coming through. After you know this. the vibe. Hey, look, it was a good hit, man, but I wasn't paying attention, man. I completely missed what the hell was. I, I completely missed it. I don't even. Bro, I don't know. <laughs> I completely missed it. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one as last. Hey, uh, since Facebook been acting up a little bit, um, maybe elevate I put, uh, put a little chat box over there on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, I know some people can't see certain uh, comments and stuff like that, so, you know. Plus, I'm going to start taking my videos and uh, upload them to YouTube, too, so I can get something popping over there. So, pretty much, um... You know, so I won't seem like, you know, <laughs> seem like, like, you know, if people want to wonder, like, somebody stumbled across my video on YouTube or something like that, and they're wondering, like, who the hell I'm talking to, you know, at least it'll be up there, you know, on the screen, you know. Uh, yeah, I fell asleep last night when I needed to get to <laughs> You good over there, Jason? I just logged in, bro, finna get this grind. Hey, that's what's up, man, that's what's up. So a runner at first with one out now. You'll need some of the players for later, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar Hernandez. 
hit out towards second. Scooped up. Step on the bag for one. On to first as they get the double. Now to bat, Andre Brooks. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. <laughs> I just bought uh, John put me on. He said, uh, oh, was it John? I think it was John. It was it John or Joseph? One of them. They put me on with the uh, Anthony Rizzo wave. High with the fastball, but so. didn't get the call. I went Man, on and grabbed him. I'm gonna see what he like. Fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job <laughs> just to make contact. Yeah. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. All right, so time now for the Blue Jays. Road yeah, it sounds like it's gonna be a struggle, Jason. <laughs> what in the blue fuck, like? <laughs> Never fails, bro. Four runs in one inning. So now to the plate, Andre Brooks. Oh, he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Y'all know I'm famous so for the solo ski home runs. One away, and that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. On the ground is short. This could be two to second for one. On to first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play. The batter. <laughs> Soon as the relief pitching come in, bro. Will be Alejandro Kerr, and their runners at the corners now. Gotta love this game. On the ground is second base. This could be two. Reined in. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Blue Jays' eighth uh, and the I, I really, I really can't, I really can't say what's best, man. Only ones that I've done, like I've only done the spark plug one. Max that one out, Dom. Uh, I got the, the, the tool shed. Um, so I really can't. I, 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 I don't know, bro. I don't know, Adam. I, I don't know. I, I really can't say. Um, I was going to start working on that uh, power one, but I don't know, man. I really can't say. I really can't say. I've only had one, and I've stuck with one. I don't feel like grounding another one, so. I, I don't know. And Nick the Goat with the like. Nick, I appreciate the like. Again, man, if y'all just tuning in, man, uh, real quick, I just want to say I appreciate all y'all, uh, you know, all the love and support these past two and a half months that I've, uh, that I've been receiving from y'all, uh, especially the loyal ones who come in and, and check me out every single day that I go live. So I just want to say that I appreciate y'all. Again, we are five followers away from 1K. That's huge, for, you know, and I've, I've done it. I think it's been two months and three weeks. <laughs> um, I don't know anybody else who has done it as quick as me. Um, you know, I'm not, you know, being cocky or anything at all. But you know, I couldn't have done it without y'all, man. I just want to say that I appreciate y'all. Um, hey, man, and if y'all new in here, man, you know, drop a like, you know, do what you gotta do, you know, support your boy, hit the follow button, do whatever it takes to support your boy. Uh, Nick, what's up, man? What's up, man? How you feeling, man? <clears throat> As he's in there with a stolen base. He's showing down the two slugs. I wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point. I would say you could you try to do uh, the spark plug, Adam. It's try to do the spark plug one. Max that one out. So that uh, uh, get that diamond tool to shed and that diamond hole. Or just walk them flat out. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A lot of content in the conversation that happens. Yeah. Hey, man, in. I can't do it without y'all, man. I appreciate every last one of y'all, man. Again, still got the migraine popping, so my head still is, you know, I don't even, I'm not even wearing my headset, but, um, you know, still pushing to put that content out there, man. So, <laughs> you know, fastball laid off well. Just gotta keep grinding. Leads. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not Good morning, Danny. Danny, Danny coming in with a Yankees page. <laughs> Good morning, though, my guy. Good morning. Springer has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. 
It's never too early. The grind never stops. The grind never stops. So now into the box is Marcus Semien. He'll lead things off here but in the box. Good morning to you too, Anna. The second baseman, Marcus. Hit on the ground is short. Guess who was a no show this weekend, y'all? Guess who was a no show this weekend? <laughs> Into the box, Kevin Beach. Damn woman waking me up. Man, I had my coffee. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> man, I need something, man. I need. I had a, I had a, I had a frat, man. I ordered some. Uh, believe it or not, I ordered some damn McDonald's this morning. Wasn't was really shit open. I grabbed some McDonald's out of steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a fucking caramel frat. <laughs> Yankees with the 55 stars, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, my G. Thank you for the 55. I came back and guess. Hey, I ain't mad at you, man. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. Appreciate that like, too. Day Day with the like, man. Man, I know she did. Hey. Look, I told y'all. <laughs> yeah, she was a no-show. All that talk, no-show. Make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. The 1-0. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Therefore, it is Springer, and he's got it for the first down. Now at the plate here is Andre Brooks. <laughs> We'll it's all good, though. Oh, I don't, I don't and be tripping. Two gone here in the fifth. First pitch on its way. And he swings right over the top of this one. Nothing in one. For most people, being down on one would seem like a lot. But this guy is such a good hitter. He doesn't care going deep in the count. He's got runners on base. He has a game plan <laughs> every time he comes to the plate. Let's see how this one plays out. Now the one and one pitch. Right side, but it's well foul. Trump over at second. Right <laughs> yeah, first it was intentionally down. put like that. You, you ain't no Nick. Pulled high in the air out to right. I remember field. when he told me when he made the page. <laughs> and the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. A couple of walks in the inning, but nothing on the scoreboard. We're back with. Uh, we don't support the games uh, after this. Support the games at 6 o'clock today, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, uh, again, the support is this. Uh, I mean, you already a supporter, so it really don't matter. But it's, it's for all supporters and anybody who, who's donated 1K stars within the current month. So anybody's welcome. Uh, anybody who meet those criteria, they welcome to play the support the games. Uh, five inning MLB, uh, Diamond Dynasty games, all regular games. The choice is yours. I don't care personally. You know, it's whatever. I just want to have fun. Um, but yeah, uh, five inning games, Hall of Fame difficulty. Uh, and again, the game, the the, the 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 game is up to you. I mean, whatever you want to play. If you want to play regular games, or if you want to play. Uh, uh, Diamond Dynasty games. They're gonna extend their Fucking lead Yankees, I don't need this. <laughs> Bro, I can't take the man. This is a damn headache I got, man. I'm not taking a goddamn thing, man. I, I, I can't do it, man. I started to take one to see if it would help make this shit go away before I had to take some goddamn medication, but this damn headache, bro, this shit dope. Migraine or whatever the hell it is. <clears throat> this is the fourth day. I've never had a fucking headache that lasted this long. Never in my life. <laughs> Down to the plate here is Zach with the light. Nice Zach, time. I appreciate it. What's going on, man? Good morning. The one one. Hard hit ball to short. He's got it. Hey, let me throw it. Throw the ball. Fuck the kill. Uh, I got really sick. Yeah, yeah, you ain't got to explain yourself. I already know what it is. It's all good. <laughs> Shallow in the building. Uh, fool, I got a migraine with that, so, like, I can't. Uh, yeah, man. So, like, bro, sixteen to one, Jesus. Um. Yeah, I see some shit. Hold on, wait a minute. I missed a lot of shit. Hold on. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Bouncer to the left side. Bichette picks it up cleanly. One there on to first. Eight. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. So now it'll be the four hole hitter. Oh my God, Nick. Porto. Appreciate it. Retired after popping out in his last yeah, I must be feeling like you, Zach, man. This shit is this shit is like this shit is crazy. Shout out like shout I appreciate that, my God. Thank you. Sliding try there at third, but it skips by him a base hit. And he's I out on a strong I'm not throw. ready for this game to be over. Well, I understand they need to try and make things happen, but when you're yeah, I, I, sport, I, I'm definitely feeling like you, man. Ah, I can't imagine pass, like bro, this shit. At third. To one this evening. The Blue Jays took the lead in the fourth and I haven't even like I wanted to I wanted to stream last night. I couldn't stream last night. Um, I know I told you I streamed early yesterday. I think I stopped at like one or two o'clock. And uh, you know I tried. I, tried, I told y'all that I you know I take a nap and and come back and play. But you know after my nap I woke up. He still was pounding, so I was like, fuck it. I watched a little bit of TV, and then I went back to sleep. I actually checked out some, uh, you know, a lot of other streamers who, who always come in here and check me out and, and, and uh, you know, watch me play and all that shit. Oh, anybody who support me and stuff like that, I checked out a lot of streamers yesterday. And, uh, um, I ended up falling asleep watching their streams. Like, no bullshit. Like, that's how bad my hair is hurting. So, um, but I still try to show love. Um, and Dan the Blue yeah, you know, you know how I do, man. That's what I'm all about, man. They've been playing better than 500 Support is free. Late five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty B, they've come oh, out the guns blazing so far in this series. Won the first <laughs> I do what I do when I can. In blowout fashion. <laughs> Nothing they'd like more than Honestly, win games. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. Yeah, 16 runs, bro. That shit was unbelievable, yeah, right? And look. Keegan Aiken is one of my one of my fucking pitchers, and he Matt never Ray pitched. He really didn't pitch good for the Orioles, but all of a sudden he pitched good for Toronto. To that today. That's why I said it's just this game. It's just this game. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Uh, now I got a really far right up the street. I'm gonna go buy probably like a two pack of leave or something like that. So that'll bring in Oscar Hernandez. You know. I don't know. For me, this is an important Figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> Hopefully that should go away. I usually I usually don't take I don't I, I'm not one I only take medicine if I have to. Um I never really take medicine when it comes to headaches. Like I typically just yo, I really I legit just go to sleep, wake up, the shit is gone. And uh for some reason, you know, it has it, it just hasn't been the case this time. So this is the first time that I've had a headache more than a damn day. Again, I go to sleep, wake up, and the shit is gone. <laughs> Right here and refocus. Take a deep breath. Touch home run. Wasn't trying to hit a home run, but I'll take it. Uh, no, nah, I didn't make it to the World Series set. Uh, this is actually a new road to the show. I actually started over. Um, I don't know. My player just seemed like I guess I guess as he gets older. You know, his attributes kind of drop off, I'm guessing. Like, it don't show that it drop off, but it feel like it. Um, I wasn't hitting the ball. Like, I still had the numbers. You know, I was still batting over 300. I was still batting. My last season that I played, I hit 66 home runs. So the numbers were still there. It just felt like a lot of balls that I typically hit, I wasn't hit. So, um, you know, I wasn't like, you know, I was getting good contact on the ball, but the ball just wasn't going into play. You know what I'm saying? It was just, uh, or it was going into play, but it was just like a, a fly out or, you know, I'm hitting balls straight to the, to the infielders and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it felt like it was dropping off. My overall still stayed the same, but it just felt like it was dropping off. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fast. That was a clutch home run. That was a clutch home run. Hold up on that home run in the previous uh, at bat. You do not come pick out the, the bat stand thing. Uh, what bat stand thing? But stay on the fast boy. He's got to throw it again. Where it kept uh, four runs. Where my bat stands kept changing in the game for the Orioles so far. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Wow, that changeup is a gotta remind me. I don't remember. <laughs> they call it the great equalizer for a reason. Just a bit. I really haven't been looking to. Is the comments still two. popping up on the side? Into the windup and the pitch. Popped him up. Solano shading to his right. And he makes the catch for the second out. 
One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. Yeah, y'all, if y'all just tuning in, uh, you see the pin coming at the bottom. That's what I have to do. Bro, on a second. Glad. Um, we are uh, we about to hit 1K, yo. We about to hit 1K. 1K. We five followers away from 1K, so you know. Signs going win it all. Uh, probably so. I got him taking this last game. Um, Clip is just not it. Um, I don't know why they still holding out. They might as well tell us to say Kawhi Leonard towards ACL. Like, I don't know why they're keeping that shit under wraps. I'm thinking he probably got, like, a slight tear. So, like, it's a possibility that if the Clippers were to win the series, especially if they would win the series, it would have to go seven games. Kawhi could potentially come back probably like game three He's of the finals nice if that was the case. Some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. But I don't see them. I don't see the Clippers coming back. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Shit, that's what's up, Charlotte. That's what's up. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Shit, congrats. Congrats on the triple crown, man. That shit ain't easy. Two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. It's like you always have one or the other. You have the home runs and the batting average. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases, all right, bases will be loaded. loaded. You had the home runs and the batting average, but don't have the RBIs. Or you had the home runs and the RBIs, but don't have the batting average. That was what happened to me like my first three seasons. bats for him in this one. Swing and a ground ball, and this should get him out of it. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and the Oriole threat goes Just by the way. Just don't ask you to do it again. <laughs> Leon in the building with the like and 100 stars, man. If we get a hashtag Leon in the chat, Leon, I appreciate it. All right, the comments still popping up on the side, so I'm, 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 I'm good with that. I just wanted to make sure I keep popping up. Because, again, I'm, I'm, I put the comments on the side because I know uh, I know uh facebook been acting up a little bit lately and a lot of people have been saying they can't see other people's comments for some odd reason i also know that like when i'm in other people's stream and people comment the comments don't pop up till like super late so again, i don't want to be responding to somebody and don't nobody know what the hell i'm talking about <laughs> i also put them up there too because uh starting a youtube channel and i actually want to put my recorded sessions um on youtube so if these are being played back on YouTube, then people, you know, of course, of course, they try to fuck the game up. Of course, um, people would know what I'm, what I, what, I, what I'm exactly, what exactly I'm responding to. So, here's the first pitch. Hammered the other way to right field. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Looking up. Let's go, baby. The wall out of here into the visitors' bullpen. Yeah, that's why I never really got into pitching to begin with. I knew I wasn't going to. I, I don't like pitching at all. Like, even when I play against y'all, I don't like pitching. So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, that, 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 that comes with the territory. So, you know, that's what the support of games is all about. But, I mean, again, um, you know. That's why I never really got into pitching. there's one down now. 7-4 the final finish today. Yeah, we needed that. We need to win this next one, too. I think we only lost one game. So we just got to we just got to work on winning uh, winning a series, winning each series that we play. 8-22 and 12, they probably lead the division. We three games under 500. We can make something happen. Andre Brooks. In yesterday's ball game, he launched a couple over the wall. So we'll see if he's got some more thump in that bat here in this one. And now pitch on the way. On the screws to short. Like, yo, you see the speed? Like, you see how he pick up the speed to go catch the ball? Like, he probably not even that fast. Billy Hamilton digging in now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading up for Toronto. The center field. Hit to short. Right to him. And I'm going to say this throughout the stream. Um, hell, I might say it every five minutes. I might say it every two minutes. It don't, I don't know because 
Next I don't know who's coming in and watching, but again, so close to 1K, 1K followers, bro. So close, so close. We are five followers away. I'm at 995. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys... So the next to bat will be Andre Brooks as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. All right, come on now. One time. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Simeon to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. I love it when they don't have a steal, bro. I love Michael it. Conforto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Runners off for second. Bouncer to the left side. Throw goes over to third. And they've got the runner trapped in a hot box between second and set. third now. And when I say I love it when they don't let me steal, like I'm trying to uh, hit watch full game so I can steal and make my way all the way to third, but the game just like goes super fast and won't let me hit uh, watch full game. So. A bouncer up the middle, scooped up, barehanded for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the end. That's the thing, Charlotte. Like it's crazy because I, I typically hit those pitches though. Like I hit them a lot. I shouldn't be swinging at him, but I definitely hit the shits a lot. Hit on the ground out to short. My swing time was just off. And the off balance throw will be too late, so a good effort that time. But digging in the switch hitter Andre Brooks, 0 for two on the afternoon so far. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here. It looked like the fastball got away from even look like they dropped below the strike zone either, like right when I'm swinging at him. The run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Fouled away. We're in the sixth inning here in a three-to-one ball game. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. <laughs> Another 2 2 offering. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. 3 2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you yeah, walk, so what? Oh. that's better than him putting one in the seats. Way high. Now the payoff pitch home. And it's fouled sometimes. away. He pulls this one into right. Gritchett gets under it and makes the catch. High leverage at bat here, and standing in, it'll be Andre Brooks. And a big at bat here as he'd be the go ahead run. Grounded to short. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. It's the one thing I hate about this band being back yeah, playing this early. This goddamn pitcher. The and with the pitcher this young, you just want to let him know that he's out there for a reason. And to yeah, trust what got him here. Double play, but if I do get a running start, he's going to fuck around and hit a pop-up. Y'all need the way. That's popped up. That's exactly what he did. Pop up. <laughs> he's got it, and there are two down now. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika, trying here to plate the tying run from second. That's why I should not be able to predict this game. He's running. And he pops him up here on those two as this is drifting toward the right side of the infield. Cabin Biggio stepping up now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 3 1. Hit on the ground out to short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is open.
Stands our final line score this afternoon. First for the Victoria Blue Jays, five runs, 15 hits, two errors. They left 15 men on base. Tie the game up, man. For the Orioles, three runs on 10 hits, no error. Bumping it off. That's what's up. Been in the building, been with the light, Ben. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Broadcasting live from Oriole Park at Camden Yards here in Charm City. Tonight, the opener of a three game series between the Los Julio Gutierrez, the Puerto Rican Southpaw, gets the starting right, assignment here. Self. Dan Plezak, what's the. That's the way I'm trying to dance. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Andre Brooks is at the plate as he watches ball one. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice. Well, and he has some trouble with it. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Next to stand in is Michael Conforto. And the Orioles looking for more here in this game's opening frame. On the ground now for Iglesias. This could be two. And a good throw gets him one gun. We talk about this all the time in the game. Having an internal clock. That's exactly what he had right there. Yeah, it's a new series, but hell yeah, we're still having the same one uh, full run problem. Never change. I don't know, I like it's crazy. I watch other streamers and it's the same thing. Like it's it's like you gotta play for the the Yankees or the Dodgers in order to like have good pitching. You know what I'm saying? Not to give up those four runs. Like it's crazy. Like I don't know why that's the case, but it seems like no matter what team you play for, I've seen people play for the Oakland A's. I've seen people play for the Angels. I've seen people play for the second. He's got it. Throw to first the in time, and the big uh, inning is cool. avoided as the side is retired. So it's a run on three. The one dude who no played for the Yankees, I mean, he do he, he pitched too, but now for the you know, he don't his Jerry team Walsh. don't give up four He's runs on one inning because he played for the Yankees. So like, <laughs> trip to the plate so far, and all oh, that gets him on the mound. Safe oh, after the recovery that. throw. Good effort, but now. He Digging in next, Andre Brooks as the switch hitter will bat right-handed here. Even though he's batting right-handed in this particular bat, this guy swings it from both sides of the plate. I the still think we can uh, the same across the board. A terrific hitter, right-handed in this at bat. But if you try to switch this guy around from the left side, he can do some damage also. Fouled what team you play for? Uh, uh, what team you play for again, Jason? It's ridiculous, bro. It's really ridiculous. A little bouncer. That four run of any shit. Like it's always Urias four plus runs. Leads off first with one away. Three runs, like three runs happen often too, but three runs seems like it's more like if I gave up three runs in an inning every game, that seems like that seems more realistic than four plus runs. That's like giving up a grand slam every every game in one inning at some point during the game. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. So bases are empty with one gone, and the catcher Max Stassi will be the next to bat. To short. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Alright, it's okay, yeah. That is <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Next up is Andre Brooks. It's like you gotta drop the difficulty the down to beginner Andre. so you can actually hit damn near home runs every single every single time you have to bat. 
Like, that's the only way it's going to be a fair game if you play with a team like the Orioles or the Mariners or, you know, one of them bottom finishing dudes. Strike and now it's 0-2. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight change? Up? Like it's no How fun. Like people want to play for that. People don't want to play for the Yankees or the Angels or, or the Angels give up for them. So we'll uh, people don't want to play for you know the Yankees, the Dodgers, you know those top teams. People want to play for their home team. Like everybody want to play for their own team. Nobody wants to play for these, you know, the Yankees and shit like that, bro. Like. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll mm. have another shot at it here. Another one-two delivery. Thought maybe if I started another. I love these grinder at bats right here. Another rule to the show. Kind of a a we Bob's in the early but 80s where not. he would just foul off strikes that he didn't want to hit and wait for that pitch he was certainly sitting on and drive it off the monster. Here's another two-two. <laughs> That's why I said, man, I always still always make my way to third. Like, I don't care, you know, people like, you know, people used to come in here and be like, why are you always stealing to go to third? That's stupid. Da, 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 da. Like, and I still on my way to third, you know, every time I go to, you know, if it's one out or, or no outs, you know, I'm stealing the third. Everybody like, why are you doing that? That's stupid. Da, 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 da. You know, but it's like you have to in order to, to, to get your team to score. It's literally like you have to. Like if you don't, if you don't get, make your way to third, you just have absolutely no chance of scoring. Right here, making the pitcher work. So it's like you, you gotta steal third. You gotta get the third with one hour, no outs left. Because any ground, any ground ball, well, almost any ground ball, and any fly out. I'm just looking at everything I'm talking. But um, any fly out or anything like that would get you home. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you know. So lead to his course, like you gotta do it. Jared Wall. It's stupid, but it's like you got to. Bats to this point. Ground ball sent back up the middle, fielded cleanly. It's like why I take why I take a chance to stay with third with no outs left, and you were already in scoring position at second. But it's like you have no choice but to do it. As he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Now the first pitch. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double it's up It's annoying, him, but Pure that's what you got to do in order to have a chance to score. The one -oh. In situations like this, like I try to hit a home run because I don't want to, you know, this dude might run a third, but I don't want to, you know, be stuck on first while he's stuck at second. I'd rather just hit a home run and bring us both. Right That's why I always right fix swing for the fences in situations lineup. like Just this. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Now the two-one. It's like right if anybody's still on my team, foul. they just automatically, you know, fucking get caught stealing second. This man got an 81 speed and still probably get caught. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Into the flag court and gone. Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on. Stepping in once again is Max Stassi. There was a base hit last time up. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. He's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they were Some more good work out of the bullpen as he notches his 10th save of the season right there. Again, y'all, y'all who just tuning in. Um, the Los Angeles Angels I am five followers away from 1K. Um, if you see the pen comment, that's, that speaks for itself. So, uh, if you can help your boy out, you watch and you enjoy what you see, man. Don't be afraid to hit that follow button, man. It helps. The road to 1K is almost complete. <laughs> and I couldn't do it without y'all again, so I just want to say thank you to everybody who, who's been, you know, who's been here. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you. First pitch on the way. And it's fouled away. His offense gave him an early lead, and he is on the attack. Punched out the first two guys and made it look easy and still getting ahead. 
ball one. So fellas this Angels team entering play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove winning three of their last four games. Yeah Maddie, they started yesterday off on the right foot. If they get put together two games in a row. A lot of positive vibes start happening. You never know this could be pretty well struck oh, yeah. high and deep Third to ball out of here. Boy, when this guy gets in the groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the out. Top of the third set to get underway. And set to go is the second baseman, David Fletcher. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Next to hit, Andre Brouts. And we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. Yeah, not fooled by that breaking ball in his last A-B at all. He jumped all over it. That's such a good feeling as a hitter when you know you're picking up the secondary stuff. Justin, with the light, Justin, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. Into the flag court and gone. Wow, another long ball in the early going of this one. The second one he's allowed in just two uh, and two-thirds innings. Might want to warm up those showers. He might be different. Uh, Striding in is Max Stassen. Potential yeah. tying run for him at yeah. third base. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Swooped oh. up. One there. Get him, get him, get him. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this... So next to hit is Andre Brooks. He's already got four RBIs in this one. Yeah, he absolutely torched a fastball his last time up. Pretty much. I'm throwing no that curveball so again, so I can hit it out the pocket. Right Ready with the 1-0. -oh. That's my pitch. Usually when they they side you know, side step pitch like that, it's usually outside the strike zone. One going to swing. One going to swing down the middle. Surprising me with some pitches. Working for the punch out and the offering. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. And he punches out another one. Make it. Should have center fielder Mike Trout. Singled last time up. This about to be a hit. <laughs> Here's the one one. Hit hard on the ground a second. Told you. And that's in there for a base <laughs> hit. Trout, the third hit of the game. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Yeah, that hard hit single right uh, there. Justin with the reaction. Justin, I appreciate that reaction. He's looking locked in. Oh, uh, he did. He didn't capitalize on that. On strikes in his last at -bat. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. I needed a hit right there. I needed a now fucking is score. number eight. Fucking there are two gone and the possible go ahead <coughs> run at first. Jammed in there as this is rolled out to short. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, but the damn. Big spot here, and it'll be Andre Brooks. And a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. Now into the box, Michael Conforto. The numbers head-to-head -head with Steve Ciszek. He's hitless in three at-bats. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Number eight is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Another win. Another loss that should have been the win. Big at bat now, and here is Adam. Get this hit right here. Winning run stands at second not? base. Runner goes for second. Bounces to the left side. On to 
first, and that'll mean a 12. On to the 12th frame in this one, and that brings up Mike, yeah, Mike Trout. Trout four, five. Here's the first pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And that'll score the go-ahead run from second to make it 5-4. to four. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can. Now it'll be Anthony Rendon. Though they might pitch around him here with a couple of bases empty. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Anthony Santander, the next to bat, struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Weak grounder back to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. A tight one, 7 to 6, the final score tonight. Steve Ciszek claims the win out of the pen his first. All because I didn't get a hit in the eighth inning. Like, that's the result. That's the result for me not getting one goddamn hit in the eighth inning. Like, this game is fucking trash, you know? Like, I already knew once I didn't get that hit, bro. Everybody was great fucking get hits on their team. This game is fucking joke. It's like if you don't play for the fucking Yankees or the Dodgers, you can't win. Ready now for LA. Jared Walsh batting 300. Every team gets scammed except for the Yankees and the fucking Dodgers. The one, two. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Brooks ranges back and he has it for route number two. And stepping in, Anthony Santander. And the Angels looking for more here in the opening frame of the contest. Hit on the ground to short. Scooped up. Oh, just on the the second for the force out of the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors. And two men left stranded. We'll move on to the bottom. Half uh, the yeah, so I think one. I think you're talking the about the mission. Front, so if you uh once you earn a big diamond perk. Um, you can do it again, and I think it's going to give you, like, diamond secondary perks. Um, but if you switch the main perk, yeah, I don't think, I don't think you're going to, I don't think you're going to get that. Here's the first pitch to him. I think once you switch the main perk missions, like, go with whichever perk that you pick. And the progression bar. I think that's what you're talking about, Jason. For ball one, these angels as they enter play here this afternoon. And then after you get the uh, after you do after you get the uh, the big diamond perk, um, you fill it up one more time and it gives you like uh, like the secondary diamond perks. And uh, that's it after that, they don't they don't do it anymore. Don't progress it. Difficult in today's game, you try and take care of business at home. This would be huge for this team. He'll try again, one, two. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're down two to nothing. Oh yeah, kind of like how I got. Yeah, that's that's definitely the, that's definitely the way to do it. So far, almost Maddie, almost went deep. His last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big. I only had so many stuff because like I literally was selling every player that I got. You know, not knowing that I had to put them on like a diamond dynasty team. So like all the diamond players that I got, I sold them. First time up, hard hit ball to second. Could have been selling some good players. I don't know who I sold. I know I didn't sell like no Acunas or Mike Trout or anything like that. But I was definitely selling all my diamond cards. <laughs> like not knowing, you know. Never would have imagined me playing Diamond Dynasty. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. 
He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. 1-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well. Oh, he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And that one is gone. What the hell? Did y'all see that? <laughs> with two away in the inning. I thought it was about to be a ground rule double because it like bounced and then well, bounced out. If you're going out. to get your first hit of the game, you might as well do it with a bang. He thought he could squeeze one past him, but he thought wrong. <laughs> so look at this shit. <laughs> four runs. There it goes. The four runs. They battered around. And again, here is Jared Walsh as he'll bat for the second time in the inning. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. And not in time as the run scores. And the run is in to score from second. It's an eight to one ball game. In now is Anthony Rendon. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Popped him up. Brooks will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Next, here is Jose Iglesias. Like my other, uh, uh, this my other road to the show. Four. I feel like there's no point even playing this one. Like, it's the same shit. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So next to bat will be Andre Brooks as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. And a bouncing ball foul. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Outside for a ball, one and one. Dubon on at first, nobody out. Sent on the ground out to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Long throw to third. And he's safe. This game might be over for all intents and purposes, but somebody forgot to tell this guy. He's a grinder. He's Boy, a in the building. Kalik like with the like. I appreciate you, my G. Here and delivers a double into the gap. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. So now here is Ryan Mountcastle. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. The 1-1. One -one. On a rope to the second baseman. Two runners in scoring position. Next, it'll be but no outs. Over oh, two here to start. Nobody the could get a fucking ground ball, one, fly two. out. No. Runner breaks for third. Ground ball left side, and that's through into left to base. That only happened because I got him on the start. Inch a little bit closer. That makes it. A... So yeah, trash, is man. He was trash. In his last appearance, he singled home a pair of runs. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off yeah. right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Striding oh, forward you. now is the DH, Shohei Otani. Lifetime versus this arm. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. On to first, and there were two down. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Andre Brooks. Offense just needs to find a way to get that pass the baton mentality. Starts one at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Maybe if they could get a few guys on the pillow, someone can bop one and get them back in this. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. So after the leadoff base hit, they'll have his wheels to contend with here. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three for four. He's looking locked in. And there he goes towards second. Strike taken, the throw. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. The 
the 0 1 delivery. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row, and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times, or do I have to sit on something else? Has a look. Now the pitch. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle. No okay. hits in three tries so far. Face, He's struck out once. Oh, yeah. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly. Throw will get him What's to the second. Well, the last two miles. Always got to get a third. <laughs> score for third. Eight to four. The final this afternoon. Los Angeles. Jones is sweet. Andy. Coach looks to help one of his stars become even better. I'm a tough kept getting kicked. I don't know over here, man. I just, you know, I've just been playing the road to the show, so I have no idea, like, what the server's been like. I haven't even been streaming as much because of this damn Friday night tonight, the first of this four-day headache I've been having. We've got baseball on. So a man at third here with two gone and striding in the speedy second baseman Jose Altuve. Drilled on the ground is short. He's got it. Oh, okay. Over to first, and that retires the side. Come on, baby. Now to bat, Andre Brooks. He did his part yesterday afternoon yeah, 12, as he cashed six, in with three hits in the losing effort. Good downward action there, and it's 0-1. And, and, fellas, these Astros entering play here tonight. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still 6-2 and two over their previous eight ball games. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that dude had to so get cut up, get kicked off. Now. I forgot all about that. It's been so long that I actually worked on that, uh, you know, worked on grinding something. Like, I didn't even. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Jason. I'm telling you. I was waiting for that. That was a slaughter, but I was waiting for that break. I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Nope. No one on with one down and striding into bat next. It will be Mark Canna. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw gets him two down. Should do what a lot of people do, and you know, a lot of people when they do road to the show, they put a lot of like young, top notch pitches on their team so that way they can, uh, you know, because they're young, they won't be stuck with them for like six years. Next up, Andre Brooks. And then start a road to the show so that way I have him on my team. <laughs> That way I wouldn't have to worry about pitching. But I don't know. Do that shit. That's another one. Come on, baby. That's another one. Looking up is the left fielder. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfect. 
Here's Brad Miller, the shortstop, comes into this at bat. Oh, for oh one. hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw a lot of people doing that shit in the MLB groups. First offering on its way. In there, now the throw. I don't blame him, though, man. As hard as it is to hit this goddamn game, bro, I don't blame him not one bit. Next to dig in, Andre Brooks. And we'll see this game is a goddamn joke. It's fun, but it's a damn joke. A bouncer up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. So two on with two away, and up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. The 0 1 pitch. Runner goes for third. A dive and he knocks it down. But they'll still manage to get the third with him pitching. I'm still. I'm still at home. Stepping in, Yuli Guriel. Lifetime versus this pitcher, batting at an even 400. He's taken him deep once. But this is pulled in by the shot. Yeah, I heard it in the past, yeah. Are you talking about the one where you would just, bro, what? Yo, this is what I'm talking about. Seven runs and a seven inning. Like, yo, this shit is not fucking realistic, bro. So like, what? He lined out in his yo, they trip, always find so a way to scam me out of a win, bro. Here. Like. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get your he talking about the one where you just had to get one at bat to simulate the game, or the one where you would put that uh, you would input some trash ass roster or something like that. And your guy would get like a fucking thousand hits in one game. Field it cleanly. Throw to first, beats him easily. I know those two of them that I saw. Ryan Stanek will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Here's the first pitch to him. Andre Brooks is at the plate as he looks yeah, at the Yeah, the shitty roster. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that one. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. Oh. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Yank on the ground down the line. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Now here's the first offering. Strike called. Now the throw down. Not in yeah, man, I don't, I don't knock people for doing it, man. This game is a fucking joke. I don't knock for doing that shit, man. The very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can make. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. That makes it 7-5 now. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. 7-5 tonight's final. The Astros <laughs> capitalized on a huge seventh inning on the way to the win. Afternoon baseball from one of the best ballparks around. Oriole Park in Baltimore. Today it's the second of this three-game series between the Houston Astros and the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore have lost their last five games. They'll attempt to break that streak right after this. Paul Irvin is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, hitters have had their way with this guy this year. This is a stat any pitcher doesn't want to have attached to him. The league hitting over 300. That's righties and lefties hitting over 300 against this guy. That's something he's going to drastically have to improve on. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly. That's just a seven-year career two, with two teams. Gonna have to it's be my second perfect. year. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty well. 
And he'll settle for a single here as they whip it back in quickly. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just. I would have rather him run the third, get called out, so that way I can get a running start from second with the next bat, and hopefully he'll hit the ball so I can get the. Oh, am I? It worked out. Now I get to run the start with two outs. Hopefully it's one. Uh, probably gonna strike out. Either way, if he if he pull the ball to his left, then he can get a run in. So get it high in the air. Alvarez is there, and he puts this one away for the. So now into the box is Andre Brooks. He collected a base hit his first time up. From the stretch. Too high, 1 0. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Gone! And that's not just another homer in a great season for this guy. That's his 30th bomb of the season. And he's already stolen. Next up for the Strohs, Kyle Tucker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first and with it. That Look at what they got my guy doing. <laughs> Astros go down 1, 2, 3. On to the bottom of the fourth. This game's tied at 2, 2. Now the Astros designated hitter, Yuli Gurriel. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Ready to take his hacks again. Andre Brooks blasted a two run homer in his last at bat. And now the first pitch. And he begins the at bat with an uncle curve looked at for strike one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Oh my, That's what I was this ball for. is great there, Where will this one end up? Into the bleachers and gone. Gotta study your pitches, bro. Burrows East. Ladies and gents. Sure I ever remember a player this. Of course, yo. I score one, they score two. Like, so why not, right? Jose Altuve, lifetime against this pitcher. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Hit to short. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. Andre Brooks to the plate again and looking for home run number three in the ball game. His second coming back in the fifth. Ball one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. 2-0 oh now. Hit in the air down the right field oh, line. God. Tucker is over near the stands as he makes the catch. Lawrence the with stand. the light line, so I appreciate it, bros. <clears throat> Digging in here for a pivotal at bat, Andre Brooks, and he represents the potential go-ahead run. Down the third yeah, man, for everybody that's just tuning in, man, we almost have one day. Follow us. Um, again, follow ain't gonna hurt nobody. You ain't gonna hurt your pockets. It's free. So do your boy a favor and you know support. <laughs> drop a like, drop a share, drop a follow. Do what you gotta do. It helps out a lot. Sean with the like, Sean. I appreciate the like, man. Yeah, just non Good morning to you. Big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. We are five followers away from 1K. It was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Man, talk about having a good game. Like Hopefully we can get these five followers on stream rather than off stream. Game. And two of those d rolls round trippers. Yeah, he's going to have a smile on his face for a while here. Dan. Yeah, these right. are special nights. You have to enjoy these. These don't come around often. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch. 
A one run game and out another one. The final today. Jesus. Jumped ahead in the seventh Jesus. inning and never gave the lead back. You and me both, Sean. I honestly want to stop playing it, but this is what generates my views and all that good shit right now. So, like, you know, I, I just try to, you know. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I want to get back into playing 2K, but. Ground ball sent back up the middle. I just probably got to find some new people to hook with or something, man. Into the box, Andre Brooks. This baseball shit is really stuck. Get on my nerves. We finished with a four for five line at the plate, and that'll get down for Same shit every game. I had two games, and I had two games against these Astros yeah, right in the bag, like and somehow they score a magnificent amount of runs to take the lead. Like by multiple runs. Um, who was I just playing for this? I think it was the Blue Jays. No, the Angels. Had them up by four or five runs, and then they scored fucking seven runs in one inning. Like, this game is just it's getting annoying. I pretty much was saying, like, everybody want to play for, like, I mean, you're a Royals fan, you want to play for the Royals. I'm an so Orioles fan. I want to play for the Orioles. First, People out there that are Angels fans want to play for Angels. No it's like they have to play for the Dodgers or the Yankees to fucking win something. Like it's it's, it's really like so play, it's annoying. Andre like nobody wants to. Everybody wants. People want to play for their favorite team. Right now, well, nobody want to play for the Yankees or the Dodgers just to fucking win. Like to nobody wants to do that. Work on his craft and try and drive something in the gap. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. Third inning here, three to one. Our score. How do you know it's still? Um, pretty much. Uh, you know, I'll just, I just, uh, I just go when uh. You can you can advance your lead by tapping R1 or RB if you're on Xbox. Um, yeah, I think that's the idea, man. He might spin the if he starts looking for it in there. Um, but as soon as the pitcher, as soon as the pitcher pick his leg up, you know, you just you just take off. As soon as you go to pick his leg up, just go. That's the best way you can do it. But you sometimes, if your speed, if you don't have enough speed, you have to like uh, please catch that. Thank you. You have to um, you have to tap R1 or uh, or RB to like uh, get a get an advance gather to to uh, to be able to steal. If you got if you got low speed, if you if you guys are fast like mine, you don't have to really get that much of a lead start. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. On the way to stand. Now it's about to be 3 3. Now they're about to tie the game up. So the I wouldn't be surprised if they tie the fucking game up. Because we can't make a routine play. Left side. Look at that. The second for one. On the first to complete the double play. Shit still bite us in the ass. I think they was gonna fuck the score. Like yo, like that's what I'm saying. Like yo, this game is not it's not fun. Like yo, everything is going right, and then all of a sudden they about to score off this shit. Everything is going right. And what I tell you, what did I tell you? Like who want, like why would you want to play this? Why would you want to play this? First delivery to him. There goes Altuve. Strike taken. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Hey, it's almost impossible. Oh, it's been welcome to the family. I appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. We are four followers away from 1K. <laughs> Let's get it. Appreciate appreciate the support. Austin, again, welcome to the family. But again, man, who, who, like, who wants to play this? Like, constantly getting scanned. Like, we make that routine play every time, especially when we down. We always make the play. And then the moment that we up, he throws me off the bat. <laughs> like, yo, this shit is not fun. And I don't want to play for no other team besides my team. This is what, my 17th season? <laughs> My 17th season total playing playing MLB the show. I got 15 on my other one. Uh, played one full season on another one, and this I'm in my uh, another season with this dude. Like yo, like who wants to play this shit, bro? And now Andre Brooks 
Runner in scoring position with Sudan. Every time I steal the battle pops up. You got a uh, cold call with the light call. I appreciate the light, man. Thank you. Welcome to the strength. Um, Sean, if you uh, you got a chain, you got to take it from. Uh, you see where it say in the bottom left hand corner where it say send the next appearance. You got to put it on watch full game so that way he, he, the pitcher will pitch. You know, on an O and O count, and you'll have to watch every pitch. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt. Especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Definitely thrown out. At least good. No, Matt. Run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Well, we've been treated to a neck and neck game so far, and the last thing anybody wants is for a misplayed ball to be the. But yeah, man, it's just like right now, you know this shit. Like leads to the go-ahead run. Pulled right center field. Long run for the center oh, fielder. Home run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire. And we the still side. probably find a way to lose. Oh, uh, he won. Finished today, five to four. It's just crazy, like. To I mean, strategically, it makes sense. Like, it makes it, it makes the thing that makes me mad is that the game already know that they're gonna intentional walk me. So why are you making me pick a challenge? You know what I'm saying? Like, not that challenges mean anything to me anyway. Like, my guy's maxed out, but, you know, it just, you know, logically, it just makes, you know, absolutely no sense. Now under the dome tonight, MLB The Show has baseball from Tropicana Field. We've got an AL East contest tonight between the Baltimore Orioles and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's Rays baseball, and it's... Digging in will be Andre Brooks. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And he found this man Tyler ball. Glass no only got three pitches in his Two repertoire, but he's nasty. What for? He must have given he must have quote really one man. Typically he only has three. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Dan Dero, we take Two a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in playing reasonably well ball. of late, though they have dropped their last he must two have in a row. Yeah, maybe awesome. we've got really a team like. here that's been playing some pretty good baseball. What did you say about the pitching and the scaling part? Uh, so basically, like Sean, when you're on base, yeah, I have to show you when I get back on base. When you're on base, uh, the bottom left-hand side, the USA Center next appearance watch full game. You want to put it on watch full game, so that way when you're, when you're on base, the pitcher's going to pitch in an o, 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 o and O count. You got to, you know, you'll watch every pitch. And that's pretty much how you steal. And once you get to your desired base, like if you're just trying to get the second, you put it back on Sim to, uh, Sim to next appearance. So next to the plate for Tampa but if you want to steal Austin from second Meadows. and then steal the third, you know, you just keep it on watch full game. And when you got it on Sim to Sim next appearance, typically what's supposed to happen, when you got it on Sim to next appearance, the batter is always going to swing on the pitcher's next pitch. So if it's like when you got it on Sim the next appearance and the, and the batter comes up the bat and it says he's on an 0-1 count, He's going to swing and put the ball in a play. Now, sometimes they try to scam you and the fucking player doesn't swing. Like, that rarely happens, but... Um, but, yeah, typically, you know, if it's 0-2, they're probably going to strike out. 1-2, they're probably going to strike out. Um, when you want to send the next appearance, 0-1, uh, they're going to put the ball in place somehow, whether it's going to be a hit, line out, or a ground ball, or something like that. 3-1 and is probably going to be a walk. 3-0 and is definitely a walk. Look at this shit, yo. Of course. Hedges is under it. <sighs> Boy. He brings it in for the second out of the inning. On a, on, on why I was supposed to be a check swing. I wasn't even swinging at that shit. Like I hate I hate when, when a game make me swing when I'm trying to check swing because I guess the pitches I'm swinging late so it, it makes my batter like swing makes my guy swing fast as hell. Blowing away as he misses again, 2-0. Oh. 
it's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. He's set, and the two-one pitch, right side. Hey, yo, where did this post of speed come from? Stepping in is Austin Hedges. Oh, his prior history versus this arm. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Scooped up. Over the first, and that retires the side. Up next for the race, well, G-Man Choi. It's his job to get something into the outfield. This dude's going to score some ahead, run a chance to score from second. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Oh, there you go. And he has just given them Don't the lead late <laughs> as this is down for extra bases. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a five to four game. I should not be able to predict what's going to happen. Like I shouldn't. <laughs> you know, I should not be able to predict what's going to happen. That's why this game is fucking trash. Like time up. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. The bouncer to the left side. Like that's supposed to be a check swing. Like the swing time is very late. The pussy's very late because I am not trying to swing. I'm trying to hold back. They just constantly hate me. Go all the way around. What the fuck is swing? Like I'm barely hit the button. Andrew Other things that need to be fixed with this broke ass game. Wednesday night baseball from Sean, the game is just a fucking scam. Like <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Between the Baltimore Orioles and the Tampa Bay Rays. And now your 2000 live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Yanni Chirinos gets the ball for the Rays in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy pitched well this last one, getting through seven innings in his last start. We'll see if he can turn in another quality start and pick up the win in this one also. In now for the O's, Andre Brooks, as we take a look at the splits between April and May. He's set. Here it comes. Donnie um, him up with probably going to end the stream at two hour mark because I Dan like D. I D. have no desire to play here tonight. They come in playing well. Six like, I don't I don't want to play this game. Like I don't like and I don't understand why other why people want to play this. Like so, in road to the show, that you can't play for your favorite team because you're gonna get dicked either way. And when you play regular people online or you play, you know, Diamond Dynasty, people cheat. People got Zins and shit like that. And the difficulty is on All Star until you get up to a certain, certain whatever in the goddamn division. You win a certain amount of games, like. Next to stand People cheating on Oscar with fucking Cronin Zins and shit like that. Like, yo, I, who the hell want, like, why, why would you want to play this shit? Like, I, I don't get it. I wouldn't be playing this shit if it wasn't for content purposes. I swear I would. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. But I bet you if I put myself on Yankees, bro, I, we won't be having this problem. From the stretch. And who the fuck wants Swing to do that? So I don't like the Yankees. I don't want to play for the Yankees. better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. So they're going back. Still ranging back. And it's gone. Shit, that's what's up, Glenn. That's what's up, man. A two run blast. Three oh two three. Uh I was about to ask if you got if you got uh the, the triple Orioles crown, but I think it's people that's people said somebody somebody in the, in in, in, your, in your road to the show probably batting like three twenty or some shit like that. <laughs> he shows you why he's dripping with tools. He's got that's a good ass stat line though. You batting three hundred, thirty two home runs, eleven. One twelve. On Did you uh? Or a or I'm on Orioles. They suck. I don't want to switch teams. Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's the that's that's, that's the thing. Uh, Glenn, it's like, yo, <laughs> the unbelievable shit that happened. Like, yo, you always give up four runs every game in one inning. 
That shit is not realistic at all. Um, like, go ahead. If you want to make me lose ten to two, that's fine. But let them score two. Let them score two runs every inning. That shit seems more realistic. You know what I'm saying? Like, not to give up. Like, I'll be leading the game for the zero all the way to the seventh inning, and all of a sudden, or the eighth inning, and all of a sudden, they score seven runs in one inning. Not realistic. He's right there. I know the Oreo suck. They don't suck that goddamn bad. Yeah, I love playing the cameos too. But like, I don't. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not down to switch teams, bro. I want to play for my team. Like, but I guarantee you, if you play for the Yankees, like I watch all the other streamers play this shit. When they play for the Yankees or the Dodgers or somebody like that, bro, they never had these problems. Never. When you play, they play for the Angels, they play for the Mariners, they play this for the, the, the Athletics, they play for whoever else. They play for anybody else. Bro, and they never did. That pitching never give up pitch. four runs in one inning. Never. To Crawford for one. But I played 15 seasons. On my other road to the show, bro, I played 15 two. seasons. So Multiple seasons hitting 70 minutes. home runs. Next, and you mean to tell me we can't land photo. one pitcher off my name? Like, come on, bro. This shit is so fucking dumb. Like, it makes no sense. It should be like 2K, bro. If you fucking, if you're a superstar player, you should be able to somehow land or influence your roster, the team's roster. Like, yo, it makes no sense, bro. And I guarantee you, like, I promise you, I would not be playing this stupid ass game if I wasn't trying to build my stream up and build. Like, this is what people want to see. Um, so I'm playing it. But this shit is pissing me off so bad. I played 15 seasons and never had good pitching. Never. You mean to tell me in 15 seasons, I couldn't land one good pitcher? Every time that we had a pitcher that was over 90 overall, they still sucked. They, they still had a fucking 4.5 ERA. How? This is why you pay the price of admission right here. Power. Like it makes power. no sense. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Bro, that roster moves his ass, bro. So my last season, uh we had the shortstop. His name was Xavier Edwards. Um, I don't think he was a real person. I don't even know anybody by that name. But he was an 87 overall, and he had good he had good power and all that shit. He was a good hitter. We fucking traded him for, for like fucking nothing. We traded him for next thing you know. I only had 170 overall in my lineup. Once he disappeared from my lineup, bro, we had 570 overall players in my lineup. Good top the plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases either. To your point, Dan, he did go deep earlier, and now the stolen base here, so he's really having an impact on this game. Runners on his way to third. Pitch misses low. The throw. Down. And I gotta do this shit just, just with one out or no out, just for my team to score. Like, yo, I don't want to have to fucking keep stealing all these goddamn bases just for us to score. Like, come on. But it looks pretty genius now that it worked out. Now they just need to execute at the plate right, yeah. and get that go ahead. And it's crazy. This is my second season on a new guy. And Santa Dare's gone. Subject Mullins gone. Trey Mancini gone. John Means is gone. Why the hell these people are not on the fucking roster anymore? But he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect And that's what I'm saying. Like even after even after the seasons where I won the World Series. Like yo, you're a World Series team. How the hell does somebody not want to come to that team? Like you just won a chip. You just won a chip. You brought back damn near everybody that was that was a part of it. Uh, that's a home run. Let's go. Oh no, that's the stay then. The relay throw on to third, but he's in safely as they jump ahead. With you brought back everybody else that's on roster, which means it's probably going to be a repeat. And this evening's you know why you still can't sign a big name player. The final, the Orioles. This game, like I said, it literally makes no sense. Like I know that's what the Orioles do in real life, but at the end of the day, this is a fucking video game. I don't know how many times I gotta stress that issue as to why this shit makes no sense. The hitting is fucking jacked up. Like you know, you gotta fucking like. What's the point of having swing time if you hit a per if you get a perfect swing? And the shit still is not a hit. Like, yo, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Mateo, Mateo with the like. Mateo, I appreciate it, man. Welcome to the stream. 
certain things just literally makes absolutely no sense. And what's the point of what's the point of giving somebody a perfect swing or telling them that a per their swing time is perfect and the ball is foul? Or it's a fly out. Or it's a or it's a ground ball. Don't be shocked if or it's a line out. Like it makes no sense. Makes no sense. It makes zero sense. And the 0-2. This one's flared toward left center. Crawford it's falls for no, it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Hey, Glenn, I appreciate it, man. Hey, man, look, we we on a roll, bro. We on a roll. Uh, yo, for me to be, I've been saying this all stream, man. For me to be only be doing this for, you know, I'm going on three months. I'll be three months, July 7th. That would be my third month streaming on Facebook. That is. Um, I'm literally about to hit 1K, bro. I'm, I'm about to hit 1K. I don't think nobody, like, I look at a lot of people who's been streaming, and a lot of them made their pages way back last year, 2020 or anything like that. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not, like, tooting my own horn or being cocky or anything like that, not by any stretch. But, you know, for me to accomplish where I'm at right now so quick, like, it's unbelievable, man. I can't do it without y'all, man. Everybody who's been showing me love. Y'all, I, pre I appreciate the 478. I didn't shout you out. My bad. But, you know, Glenn with the 478 stars, man. If y'all get a hashtag, Glenn in the chat, I greatly appreciate it. Um, but, again I, I, again, I haven't been doing this, you know, as long as a lot of people. Some people aren't on 1K. Some people don't even have supporter badges. And for me to, you know, I've, two months, bro. Two months. Two and a half months, man. Two and a half months, and that's that's a huge accomplishment, man. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm determined to make this shit happen. I'm going to make it happen. Um, I just wish I can build more of a community off 2K, because 2K is the main game that I love to play. Um, I'm great at it. Um, you know, I, I, I get into, you know, I've been a lot about, you know, my frustration with the 2K community and the people that they watch, bro. But, I mean, again, you know, well, I'll see what's up with 2K, 2K22 come out. <laughs> You know, I know what's up. I know what's up then. Again, I've been streaming for a long ass time. I've been streaming on Twitch. Uh, Twitch is ass. Um, it's hard to build a following on Twitch. Um, I wouldn't recommend nobody go to Twitch. I would recommend everybody go uh, do Facebook if you want to do if you want to stream. Um, but I've been streaming for two years on Twitch. Two months on Facebook. I've accomplished a thousand times more. Probably a million times more. <laughs> like, again, like, I, can, I couldn't do it without y'all, man. Everybody will come back. You know, it takes return viewers for me to get supporter badges. So, you know, again, like, I couldn't do this shit without y'all, man. And I appreciate every last one of y'all. We are four followers away from 1K. So hopefully we can get this shit on stream, man. Uh, hey, bro, we've been good since two years. Yeah, y'all, they just need to make the shit crossplay. Like every 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 other game is crossplay. Damn man. Yeah, MLB crossplay. So why 2K can't be crossplay? Why Madden can't be crossplay? Just make the shit crossplay. Like you might you might as well do it. You might as well do it. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. I definitely could have went home on that. Just in time and they made my player run back. Bro. But um Again, man, yeah, back to two big group, man. We we we've been we've been good since then, man. And I appreciate the love. And again, man, we just want Hey, it's only up from here, man. It's only up from here, man. So what comes with uh to the right side? Oh god. Safe, though. Um, so the reason why 1K followers is big for me is because once I hit 1K, I'll be able to um, be able to collab with brands uh, to, to, to earn more money. Um, look at this shit. This is the shit I'm talking about, bro. Like, four runs in one inning. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Who gave him up? My starting pitching and the relief pitching who came in for one fucking inning and well, a fucking third of an inning, like. Tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm But sure um, you know, I unlock I unlock brands. My my goal is to make as much money as possible on here. Um, I want to become become a full time streamer. I don't want to have to bank on stars and, and you know support the money to accomplish my goal. No hits for so, him so um, far, all of it helps, and I appreciate all the love, all right all the donations that everybody been donating to the stream, and um, you know, once I unlock, you know, you know, the brand collabs and stuff like that, like you know, 
Again, everything is huge, and I can make money outside of the stars and the, you know, the direct photos and, and the, uh, the support of money and stuff like that. So it might not be a lot for a lot of people. Um, some people don't care. I mean, support badges are not for $4.99 a month. Um, some people donate, you know, 100 stars, 500 stars. Uh, my guy, Nick the Gold, I always shout him out. He's he's donated uh, 10K stars on multiple occasions. So it's uh, Clayton, Clayton Edwards. Um, so big shout out to them. Um, I mean, again, all, all, every every little, you know, every every little thing helps. But, like, you know, the followers, like, the stars and the support of money is love. But that's not what I'm going for, man. I want the followers. I want the following. I want the viewers. Like, that's what I Because that will unlock a lot of different things things for me in the future so i'm always trying to keep my view account up and i'm always trying to gain followers that's 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 what i really want that's a great job christian christian with the like christian i appreciate it welcome to the stream that close it's interesting to check it out on show track and as the numbers come in you'll want to focus on the top speed really good and it paid off there runner breaks for third pitch outside the throw not had it to twice in one game to get a run hopefully we're going to get a run play to win the game well that was a big roll of the dice to steal third and i feel like for as much as i've been streaming 2k i feel like i should have built more of a following based off 2k but I don't know. They want to watch these other people who <laughs> aren't really that good. I watched some people last night, man, and I just, I'm like, yo, why is 45, 50 motherfuckers watching this shit? Throw to the plate. Some of them were good. Some of them were decent. Some of them were bad. And, uh, couldn't, you know, I still can't believe my eyes compared to what I do on the court. But every time I stream 2K, bro, it's, it's, I'm only getting five viewers, two viewers, three viewers, no matter where I share it to, whatever the case may be. And it's, that's just unbelievable to me. Park, I've only lost probably maybe five to ten times on stream. That's got to be expected because it's Park. You can win off the dumbest shit. Park is ass. You can lose strictly off animations. Brett, I've only lost one time on stream. Which I was playing with. Me and my boy Zeke was playing with a bunch of random people who was cheeks. <laughs> so... Any other time for the amount of games that I've played, you know, I don't lose. I win a lot. I play point guard, so I'm always handling the rock, so it's always good content that you're seeing. I'm dribbling, I'm crossing people up, making people fall, you know, shooting trees, you know, all types of shit. You know what I mean? All types of stuff. And, you know, I just don't, you know, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I don't get it. Shane Green wraps it up for the save. But hopefully, you know, hopefully when I do, you know, when 2K22 come out, I can build a good, a great, great following off that. Sean with the share. Sean, I just saw all the shares. You shared it to a lot of groups. Sean, I appreciate that. Appreciate that, Sean. Like, look at this shit, bro. You mean to tell me we couldn't find, we couldn't find one third baseman? <laughs> this man is a 61 overall. Like, do y'all see this shit? But I, when 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 I started, when I started my role to the show, I couldn't get called up to the major leagues this early in the season at a 61 overall. Like, get the fuck out of here. Only me, my boy Yanni with the light. Yanni, what it do, man? You feeling some TK today, Yanni? And a welcome to City Field, New York. If I do play 2K, it had to be before or after the supporter games. Brooks. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody. Supporter over. games probably going to run me, you know, probably about uh, six to nine, something like that. 
fellas. These Almost at 1K, yo. We're trying, trying to get there. We're trying to get there, man. I should, I, I'm trying to get it on stream. Um, we uh four, four followers away from uh from 1K, I believe. I think we had 996. Uh, Let's see it. Trying to give me some followers. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they come through. You know, they come through and drop a follow. It'll be greatly appreciated. I'm going to go a second. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Next for the Mets, JD Davis, and he's a guy really in need. Again, that one K would be huge because once I get the one K followers, um, you know, I'll be able to co collab with some brands. Um, so maybe I have some brands on stream, <laughs> you know, for y'all if y'all, you know. I don't know. I don't know what kind of brands that's Facebook. That's partnered with Facebook, so you know, I'll have some like promo codes or something like that for y'all to put in for some stuff that y'all might order. I have no idea what you know with brands. Uh, with, with brands, is, you know, partnered with Facebook, but I don't know. We'll see when I hit one K. Because when I when I when I hit one K, I'm applying for every motherfucking thing. <laughs> Wind up and the 01. I'm actually going to drop that supporter goal too. I shouldn't have it at 100. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy I'm actually going to redo probably when I end my stream. I'm probably going to redo my whole uh, layout. Um, I'm going to have the uh, the most probably the top star, top star donator and. The most recent donator, I'ma have uh, a ball and two strikes I'ma have to the um, shortstop. Probably on one side, supporters on the other side. Star goal is always gonna stay right there. I'm always had a star Swing goal right there. Can't be the dirt. Out. McCann gathers a throw down to first, one away. Yeah, we can do some TK. Hey, some TK for on the road to on the road the to TK now. followers. Digging That's next. <laughs> is the outfielder Dominic Smith. The left fielder. Dominic. Here now the 2-2. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. Scooped up. Throw to first I actually in time for the first down. I was about to say something about the pen comment, but the pen comment is gone. Uh real quick man, if y'all 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 just uh, joined the stream, um we are at 996 followers. Um, trying to hit the big 1K. So, again, if you if you enjoy what you're seeing, if you like what you're seeing, if you fuck with me, don't be afraid to hit that follow button, man. It costs you nothing. So, <laughs> you know, the support will be greatly appreciated. Um, again, we're on the road to 1K, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> That happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in the game. Fielded cleanly, throwing the dirt. Uh, the the game game the 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 I had so some bullshit. Hopefully, you can win in. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, you can win in the uh, extra innings. But look, same shit going on here. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Come set the 0 1. Called strike 0 and 2. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base. Game of joke, Jason. So he has to focus <laughs> on making a good pitch right here. A swing and a miss. A bad swing. Again, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to grind this shit till what? When the next TK come out? Next September. New York, James McCann. I just gotta play this shit till September. <laughs> On the ground nah, I'm gonna figure something out. I think. He's got it. Fuck. And he is in there. Look at that. One mistake and they score four runs. Y'all really think? Look again. Proved it again. I can't make this shit up, bro. Now with the plate, Kevin Pillar. Lifetime in this matchup. He's 0 for 4. Mind you, that was two outs. So you mean to tell me they can't get a ground ball with two outs, a fly out with two outs? And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is. 
And this ball game ends at a 9 to 4 final score. The Mets wrote an important sixth inning to victory. Gotta love this game. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. From the borough of Queens, we're at the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, game two of this three game series between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Mets. It's Interleague Baseball on the show. I'm looking at. So it says my screen reached 1,444 people Peterson so far. Is on the mound for game two. That's what I like to see. Him, Dan. Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. Don't let that whip <laughs> fool you. This guy's a much better pitcher. Yeah, I, mean, I was trying to get into FIFA, but I can't play FIFA online because uh, I've said it time and time again on stream. Uh, so the email that I had from my Xbox is, you know, I had a sidekick back in the day. And, you know, when I was 17, 16. And no I registered my first gamer tag, my whole Xbox, everything with that T mail. But now that sidekicks are gone, <laughs> I can't. You know, I can't. Act, I can't access that email. So like when I try to change it on, uh, you know, when I try to log into my account uh, on EA from the console, it's only sending me a confirmation or a, 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 a authentication email. To my T mail or my old phone number. I don't have access to either one. Hit on the ground is short. Field it cleanly. And when I look it up, they're saying everybody's saying that I gotta contact EA Sports, call somebody. I like I'm not doing all that shit. Like I'm not. He hit a two run homer first. Our time FIFA was really yeah, good. If you have like a that, huge viewing, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Oh, who the hell these people be? James McCann flew out last time up. People change their name so much. I don't be knowing who, who these people are on my show, on my friends list. Javante with the follow. Javante, welcome to the family. I appreciate the follow. Number nine ninety seven. Yo, let's get it. FIFA fun? Yeah, uh, yeah. It, 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 it looked like it's fun. It looked like it's something that I might want to play. Um, you know, I I, I do want to try to get into it, but uh, I don't know, man. I ain't about to go through all that shit. And I try to use my dummy account, but it won't create an account for my dummy account. So or burner account, whatever you want to call it. Here it comes. And I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. <laughs> the wind up and the 0 2 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peraza is right, camped so. under this one. One guy. So next to bat will be Francisco Lindor. Delivered an RBI single last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this. Shit, they young. When you get up and running again with the clothes, man, you might have to sponsor me, bro. Maybe he gets hot. I'll wear some gas safe shit on, on, on stream. Put a little promo code in AGTK. Y'all get a website. Give people a little 10%, 15% discount, something so like that. We can make it happen, bro. <laughs> I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The one two is taken for ball two. That's a good pitch right there, but you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your <laughs> you makers, right? You don't want anything. <laughs> no, I was saying, I was saying, shit. I was like, once you get your, uh, 
Y'all get y'all gas station shit back up and running, yo. You put a website together, yo. You can sponsor me, bro. I'll wear some gas station shit on stream, man. Put a little promo code up there. People like what they see, what I'm wearing. They order that shit, bro. Put the promo code in, get them like 20% off, something like that. Just gotta ship it out to them. You know the vibes. <laughs> To the top of the Mets order, digging in Joel Batista. It's definitely so. Look, real quick play. though, it's definitely good shit with this. Uh, you know, this whole streaming shit because, like, a lot of the, a lot of the, the, the uh, top streamers that I watch, they wear like certain shit that they uh, they wear certain shit on stream. That's like, I mean, the, the, the poses are it ain't something that I would particularly particularly wear, but because they fuck with the streamer, they order, uh, you know, they order clothes and stuff like that from people and. You know, it's definitely, it's definitely one way to uh, push your uh, push your clothing line. Shit, not only that, you, you can reach out to other streamers yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because people got thousands, and thousands, and thousands of people. Uh, watching their streamers, people be wanting some of the clothes that they be wearing. This season, bro. 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 Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, again, if you can get into the streaming, man, definitely go Facebook, man. Definitely go Facebook. <laughs> I always encourage everybody to go Facebook with the streaming. I know, I know, you gotta get certain things like you gotta have, you know, capture cards and shit like that. But yo, it's worth it. If you can get your hands on the capture card and the streaming PC, it's so worth it. Meanwhile, now this is hit well down that right field line. For a home run. I know height sights. That is good. No left field. Did y'all have a, uh, a gas eight gaming page? Yeah? In there now, the throw. I remember seeing you was trying to do that, and I remember everybody, uh, well, I always seen like you and probably one other person with the gas eight in the name. To apply pressure on this pitcher who has struggled, but the problem here is. So now here is Andre. Brooks. I never really like. I never really paid it. Like I don't be on. Like, I, if it wasn't for Facebook gaming, y'all would not be on Facebook, bro. This is the most that I've ever been on Facebook. Like you know, I'm on Facebook a lot now because I'm doing Facebook gaming, and I also watch a lot of people. Uh, you know, watch a lot of people stream. But bro, I I started to hate Facebook. <laughs> I started to hate Facebook. Like I was never on it. Like I would literally hop on and check a few things and then hop right off. But I would see, I would see some things here and there. But I was never really on there. Like I said, I think it was around the time. I guess when y'all first started, he started trying to, uh, trying to do the shit. I remember he was asking people who wanted to be a part of it or something like that. Like that was the last thing I seen, I seen of it. And then you know I hop on the game and I see, you know, you change your name and I think it was somebody else uh, that changed their name. Now to bat, Andre Brooks. Set and the pitch. Now a first pitch change up here. Too far inside. It's one and oh. And this one's in the dirt. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to two and oh. But shit, if you do, man, bring that gas safe gaming back alive, yo. Start streaming. <laughs> Tell people all the time, man. We sit up here, we play these games hours and hours of the day, man. Like, yo, start streaming. I say it all the time. Streaming can open up the doors for you a lot of things. Again, you can promote your, your own clothing line, you know, while you stream. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? While you're trying to promote your platform. If he can get a little help from his friends, they could do some serious damage. Runner goes for third. This one's flared out toward left. Lindor onto the grass. He's got it. Has the time. Uh, triple crown categories is batting average, home runs, and RBIs. Average home runs on base. 
Uh, yeah, a average average home runs and RBIs. You got to lead in batting average, lead in home runs, and lead in uh, runs batted in. That runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, you know what? Four to two, the final score. I think I might just simulate this season, man. Here. The only reason why I'm saying I will simulate this season is because I don't feel like this team is going to get anywhere. And right now I'm playing for championships. We're 19 and 29. I mean, I look to be 500 by the All-Star break, so maybe we can do that. I don't know. We shouldn't have got swept by the fucking Mets, though. Because I'm a two-way player, they won't count. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah I, I heard about that. I, I didn't... Uh... I didn't know they would count that shit against what's the name? Shit, you can lead your own uh, your own triple crown category. ERA, <laughs> ERA, home runs and RBIs. <laughs> Make up your own triple crown. Tuesday night baseball from Oriole Park here in Baltimore. Tonight, the first of two in this interleague matchup between the Washington Nationals and the Baltimore Orioles. Ooh, Orioles three days to go for the star guard. Still need it. 2022 Baltimore Orioles. Jose Suarez, the Venezuelan left-hander, will be the man on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy is doing quite a job against lefties. He's held lefties to an under 200 batting. Four, four. They score, of course, they score. Now here's the first offering. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what that's about, Jason. <laughs> I don't pitch, so I wouldn't know anything about it. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, man. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Hard hit ball to second. Mirafield brings it in. Throw gets him. Two down. Striding in now for the Nats. Garrett Cooper. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Hit hard to short. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Jay in the building. Jay with the light. Jay, I appreciate the light. You can relate, Dan. So what's going through the pitcher's mind right now? Well, Matt, we... Next up, Andre Brooks. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Not close. It's 2-0. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Three and oh now. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. And it's fouled away. Dubon stands at first with one out. Again, another feeling like ever since he came in here and gave me that boost, man, I ain't been hitting the ball like I usually <laughs> I usually do. Fouled off. Swing and a drive huh. to right. There it goes. Way out of here as it bangs off the gate. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. <laughs> Ready to take his Yo. again, Andre Brooks. Andre. Telling you, however many runs I score, they score one more the next inning. 
Don't make your manager be the bad guy in this situation. I know you struggled a little bit right here. But you got to find a way to get through this fifth inning and qualify for that win. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And Adam Hazley digs in now. The 0 1 on its way. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Scooped up. One there. On to first. And they turn the double play. In now for Washington. Manny Pena is working on a one for three thus far. A bouncer to the left side. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So now into the box is Andre Brooks flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Paisley is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one away. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Victor Robles. Here comes the one-two. Looped out towards short. There's one. On to first. Not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. 8-4 tonight. The Nats took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Austin Voss with his fourth win this season. Jose Suarez allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. And welcome inside beautiful Oriole Park at Camden Yard. So here's the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Strike taken, the throw. Is well behind the play. That's Two an easy stolen base. Next to dig in, Andre oh, comes in today, leading the American League in batting for the season. Oh, and just a miserable effort there. It's 0 1. 68 mile an hour the Nationals, as they take the field here today, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, they started yesterday off on the right foot. If they could put together two games in a row, a lot of positive vibes start happening. You never know. This could be a jump start to big things. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he puts <coughs> himself down one and two now. That pitch was so slow it barely read. Why these slower pitches fuck me up more than faster yeah, pitches? Man, we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw to first ends the inning. Second inning. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's set. Here it comes. Pitch misses low. The throw down. In time as he just gets the tag down. Into the box, Andre Brooks. And if you didn't know, he was recently awarded the American League Player of the Month Award. And a slider tails outside for ball one. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. That's what I was being for. It's just so and fucking deep. slow. And this will wind up a foul ball. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Whit Merrifield. One for two, including a double back in the first. Grounded back up the middle, reined in. The second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this... So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. So now to the plate. Literally giving me the game, and I can't take advantage of it. Effort for him to this point. 
I know one thing. As soon as I score, they're going to come back and score about five runs. The wind up and the 0 1. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 2. Don't all his fast pitches. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Here's another 0 2. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball. And he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And that one is gone. All right, now watch they come back with like two or three runs. With two away in the inning. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Brendan Drury. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense. Especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run. Just trying to get that one run. Stepping up is Andre Brooks as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. Started out I mean, with we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one Keep side on. of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Behind 0-2 now. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Sitting on that fastball. Fouled away. Hmm, this confidence just went up in that slider. Throw that shit again. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Shit. All set for the start of the inning, yeah, and next it'll be the outfielder, Adam Hazley. Ready with the 0-1. Hit to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Hey, it took them a bunch of pain to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain oh as they God, lock up a I nice little victory here in the mid Pitching a defense game 2-1 to one the, whole the final score this afternoon. Yeah, I Jose knew it. Earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Oh, my God, yo. Look at this stretch right here. I just want to pull this up. There were three or four in Kansas City, three or four in Minnesota. Sweep Tampa Bay. And we split with Oakland. Oh, no. We lose three or four to Oakland. Split with Miami. Then we, uh, this is like, why well, we can't have this stretch right here again these two weeks. Oh, fucking team snowflakes.
downtown Baltimore and Oriole Park on a Friday night. Tonight, the start of a three-game interleague series between the Atlanta Braves and the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore find themselves on a five-game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Paul Irvin will be on the mound for the series opener. What do we need to know here, Danny? You know, Matt, his last one wasn't horrible, but this guy did give up five runs in his last start. He was tagged with the loss, and he's going to look to be a lot better in this one here today. Now to the plate, here is Andre Brooks. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. Boy, talking about having a great month. He absolutely killed it last month, hitting over 400. This guy's one of the most dangerous hitters in all of baseball. The 0-1 delivery. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Here comes the one two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. I think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Hit back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Pitch taken for ball four. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. So it's first and third with two away, and that will bring up Ryan Mountcastle. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right. And now in the box, Andre Brooks. And he's the reigning American League Player of the Month. First offering. Hit weekly back oh, to the mound. Oh, fuck God, bro. First. Really? Still a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage. So one gone for the Braves here in the third. And that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. The one and two pitch. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Just an excellent job of bad hit. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. Over one for him here in this one. Liner in there for a base hit. Now at the plate here. Can't make this shit up. Here is Andre Brooks grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't well, the play's been made, and with it. And the next in is Johan Camargo. He enters this at bat, one for two with a walk. And there he goes towards second. Strike called. Now the throw down. And he is out at second. Caught. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hit out towards second. Albies scoops it up. And that's the first down. And now Andre Brooks. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Right to him. 
And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. And this ball game ends at a 9 to 4 final score. The Atlanta Braves get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Max Fried wins his third of the season as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Broadcasting live. The next to bat for Atlanta, Ronald Acuna. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And that's lifted in the air out toward left. Brooks has a play. And he makes the play to end the inning. Nothing doing. Digging in will be Andre Brooks. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Runner at first with two gone in the inning. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Throw over to the bag. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. And ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Andre Brooks. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that's so long. So stepping in is Yomer Sanchez trying here to plate the tying run from second. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. And there's out number two. Now with the plate is Andre Brooks. Two for two in the ballgame so far. And that was a great swing he put on that changeup last time up to hit that home run. Just an absolutely textbook job. Of every time I scored, he hands scored. back before exploding on it. Next, it'll be Andre Brooks. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role oh, in today's up. outcome. Dan, nice D. Roll, what are your final thoughts career. on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Yeah, it comes fast. Making, ball, hey, the long yeah. ball was a big part of this one here. And he lays off, ball four. Now I got to know what the hell is coming. Is like, <laughs> I know what's coming. Number 67 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 67. Michael Conforto will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Pitch is high. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come, and his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. Pitch inside the throw. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Michael Conforto will be his first mm -hmm. assignment. Man, he's got yeah, I already knew he was throwing just about based upon you know the pitch locations from the previous pitches, and. Uh, the confidence that he had in the pitches. That's how I look. That's what, you know. That's why I hit the ball a lot because I actually, you know, I study the pitches. You know, I study the pitches. I study what they're throwing. I pay attention to what they've been throwing me, and I look at the confidence that he had in the pitches as well as pitch situation. You know, you know, it's 0-2 counts. You know, typically they're gonna, you know, they're gonna throw me some off ball, all speed pitches. Like, all right, you know, that's the coming. But, like his pitch choices, like I already knew was coming. That whole pitch, that, that whole. At bat, I called out everything that he just went to except one. One, I thought he was going to go uh, fastball, then sweeping curve. But instead, he went sweeping curve, then fastball. Which, once you do the sweeping curve, I knew he was coming with the fastball. It just happened to, you know, land up top, above the zone. 
Hoping to stay hot. He had a couple Again, of fastball slot. Once I've realized what. First offering. All right, now come to slot. Once I realize what pitch is being thrown first, I, you know, typically getting yes the rest after that. That well, was a slot. That's just, yo, yeah, man, this is the big one right here. They split the first. That was a slot. Like, <laughs> I hope y'all caught that shit. Like, I already know it's being thrown, just the location. I just, you know, I fucked up just off the location. Base is empty, two away, and that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Softly hit out towards short. I mean, and this, this is this is only against AIs. This, this is way different against real people. <laughs> this is way different against real people. They still trail one nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and stepping in will be the fastball slider. Footed Andre Brooks. Might go slide at first this time, then fastball. Either way, I know what he's throwing. He came with a slide at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't Matt's look so good. Ball. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield around the mountain. Probably come with another fastball right here. Area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two That's what I'm saying. Like, the more and more I play this, like, it just becomes like, it, 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 it's not, you know. That's why I became such a better hitter. You know, I figured the game out. But the fact that they just, like, the scamming aspect of it, bro, like, it's unfucking believable Two, two. I'm playing my ass off, struggling my ass off to carry this team. And every time I do some good shit, they come back and score. If I score one run, they triple that shit. Score three runs, four runs, five runs. Like, I hit a two run home run, they come back and hit a four run home run. Fucking grand slam. Like, and oh, we can't get out of the way of that one. So the I'm gonna steal my way all the way to third, the the score, frame. and then they're gonna be up four to two. After I'm up two to one. Michael Conforto. He bounced out last time up. Pitches a cold strike. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag. So let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference. In now for the O's, Andre Brooks. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. Into the flag court and gone. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit. Stepping in once again is Andre Brooks. I wouldn't be surprised if I lose this game. <laughs> I would not be surprised. One is that one didn't really threaten the inside corner. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Almost 11 o'clock. Here's a curveball looked at strike three. I know I had two strikes. I gotta pay attention. The final score today. The O's. I 
Okay, Texas sucks, so let's see what I can do against Texas. Player expresses interest in going elsewhere. So I what's gonna happen? See if they was gonna trade me. Hope my team start playing out of this world now. MLB The Show has baseball from the Lone Star State as we get a look inside Globe Life Field. Tonight, it's the first of four between the Baltimore Orioles and the Texas Rangers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Dane Dunning gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Stepping in next, Andre Brooks. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting it. What a season this guy's having. He's right up there among the RBI leaders, and he's awfully dangerous with runners on base. From the stretch. And, fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, Matty B, it hasn't been a very good homestand. And Dero, through the first five games of this set, one and four, that's not going to get it done at this level. Yeah, and, and have lost in a variety of ways, whether it be on, uh, on some bad pitching, some mistakes in the middle of the zone, untimely defense, not swinging the bats well. They have to find a way to get this win today. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. One left for the Orioles. Now the Rangers will get their first crack scoreless. Next to stand in is Andre Brooks as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. A ball and a strike. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Dubon, the runner at first with two gone. Fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through for a hit. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about in double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. There goes the runner. Uh, got him on a good slider there, swung on and missed as he's down on... That would even be close to hitting the ball. They'd be so out front of them pitches. It don't even be funny. To short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. 
Digging in, the switch hitter, Andre Brooks. And if you didn't know, he was recently awarded the American League Player of the Month Award. High and deep to right center. Martin has it, and it's a quick out number one. Nate Lowe digging in now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Runners on the move for second. In there, now the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Well, when a stolen base is that close. Next up is Andre Brooks. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto. He doubled his last time up. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. And now after the stolen base, it looks as though the dugout wants to go ahead and put him on here to keep that double play in order with one away. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Line to the right side. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. One run is scored. Throw won't get him. Yeah, nowadays the number crunchers would call that a high level. Digging in next, Andre Brooks. He's got one hit and four at-bats. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. <coughs> From the stretch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series. And maybe even the whole week ahead. The 2-1 home. Trump at second, Jones at first, two out in the inning. Outside in a full count, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And this is down for extra bases, and with two out, this might get them both home. And the run will score all the way from first. It's now seven to one. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Popped high in the air. Baldwin waits on it, and he makes the play to end the inning. That'll bring in Nick Solak. He got under one and popped out his last time up. The 2-2. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's got it. One there. On to first. It's a double play as they're woke. Up next for the Rangers, Jose Trevino. Now He's 0 for 1 Jeter. thus far. Jose Trevino. Pops this one up. Brooks is there for it. Two down. 7-1 the final score in tonight's Baltimore tonight. wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one Seven runs on 12 hits. No MLB the show is on the air as we come at you this evening from Globe Life Field in Arlington tonight the second of four between the Baltimore Orioles and the Texas Rangers Striding in is Andre Brooks who comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season what a powerhouse season in the top 10. In oh, and it throws him, and they got him. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The windup and the 0-1.
just underway in Arlington. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. And now here is Justin Dean. Batting second. No left fielder. Justin. Ready on 0-2. Mm. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. There's one. On to first, a double play. So next to hit is Nick Solak. That is it. The second baseman. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. On to first. And that's now two innings and two double play balls here tonight. Two away now. Now into the box, Andre Brooks struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. Bro, now he what? he scales the wall and makes an unbelievable wow. catch. Boy, Dior, as a pitcher, you got to love that. Hey, a bomb is a bomb. That would have only been a solo shot, but boy, his defender picked him up. Oh, yeah, just the effort level right there. They say solos won't kill you. They won't kill you if you keep them in the yard with amazing plays like that. Good play. Next to hit, Jose Trevino, and their runners at the corners now. The catcher. The 0-2 oh, pitch. Man. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. Ready now is Andre Brooks. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. And he'll fight this one foul off to the left as the count goes to 0-2. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Adolis Garcia, singled in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. And that's the second out. Up next, Andre Brooks. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit hard to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder up, kept the ice water. And hold on there. That's not gonna get him in there with the stolen base. So a runner at second, two down now, and up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. This is skied into short left center. Left fielder coming in. He gets there to make the catch, and that in. Now it'll be Justin Dean. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. 0-1 count, and the pitch. On its Taylor made to short, six, four, Three, but it's not in time, and they'll just get the one. <laughs> Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once in a... Maybe once a game. Maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. 
big spot here, and it'll be Andre Brooks, and a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. Here's the first pitch, and now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Swing and a ground ball to third. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Well, that's a pitch right there. You've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. He struck him out. I literally was getting ready to say, I tried to not jinx myself, but I already know. If I wasn't going to get a hit right there, we was going to lose. It's time now for baseball. Like, I could play better. Like, I would drink out there if I was having fun. Like, if I was enjoying the game, I'm not enjoying the game because they keep fucking scamming. Like, bro, they shouldn't have tied the game up. We up 6-3. to three. Like, come on. Hey, like, ain't realistic, yo. Next to hit is Andre Brooks. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch on its way. Like, it's just like I'm just swinging so I can hurry up and get to them and that will like I already know like this that I'm gonna fucking lose like <laughs> from the left side you really need something tailor made to even have a chance to get him at first Dubon the runner at first with one gun in the inning fouled away The next 0 2. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a miss got him reaching. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did. And stepping in, Andre Brooks struck out in his last trip to the plate. Let me focus, let me focus, let me focus. That evens it up, one and one. From the stretch. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Hard hit ball to second. And that'll just sneak past the glove, and it should be a base hit. And the run's going to come into score from second hook. as they grab it's a two to nothing lead now. Uh -huh. Next here is. So I am just tired of losing games. That's not my fault. Like, you can't control with the game. Oh, right. You can't control with the game. Like, hit him with the hand. <laughs> Can't force, we can't control with the game. It's already destined for to happen. With the plate, Andre Brooks he delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying away from his that too. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave him. High in the air down the right field line. But this will be a that first pitch. Ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop Drop. right up. Here comes Calhoun. He and it did. Get there as it falls in. And he is back Thank safely you. at first, and that was almost trouble. So some real problems out what there. What the fuck was that an error? Wind up in E7. At the plate now is Michael Conforto. He went deep to the third of a three-run job. <laughs> Next. And look at that. Four runs and one inning. Again. Jose Trevino. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. 
working for the punch out and the offering on the ground to second base this could be two there's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out. so next to bat will be Andre Brooks he's one for four so far sinker just watch the sinker stretch, here's the pitch and obviously looking for the ground ball here as this misses low it's one and oh when you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way. To there we go. Ball. Let's go. Meanwhile, Two runs. This ball gets down. It's a base hit. One run scores. The relay on to second, but he's in safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Michael Conforto will stand in as he's accounted for one of the biggest at-bats of the game so far. A three-run shot back in the fifth that's really energized his ball club. And that is in the right field, a base hit. And this will not be close, Shit. and the run will score easily. Man, he's been killing it all game. So here is Charlie Culberson. No matter, it was a flyout for him in his last trip. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Maddie. But hey, you know what? Another flyout wouldn't be all that bad. And the throw is in time to get him to retire. And this one concludes at a 10 to 7 score. The Orioles posted four tonight. runs in the eighth First on the way to victory. Orioles, 10 runs, 15 hits, no errors. Afternoon baseball now from the heart of Texas and Globe Life Field in Arlington. Today it's the finale of this four game set between the Baltimore. It's baseball, it's the show, and it. Colby Allard, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, hitters have had their way with this guy this year. This is a stat any pitcher doesn't want to have attached to him. The league hitting over 300. That's righties and lefties hitting over 300 against this guy. That's something he's going to drastically have to improve on. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last mm. time out and, in fact, heck? dropping six of their last seven. Hey, this is a big one here, Matty. You know what, d -Row? They're about to head on a nine-game roadie. One thing they'd like to do, get on that plane feeling good about themselves and salvage the last game of this series. Yeah, Dan, they need to find a way to win this one today. Get on the flight. Makes everybody's dinner taste better. Nine-game road trip coming up. A lot of packing involved, a lot of grinding on the road. They need to find a way to win. Shit. <clears throat> Able to track it down for the third out. Two out double left stream. Well, what's up, y'all? If y'all new to the stream, the welcome to the stream. No the uh, we are about three follows away from 1K. Um, so if you can support, if you haven't already, please hit that follow button. Help your boy out. Let's get this 1K. Let's get to these 1K follows. Pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. And he fouls this one off. The follow button. The price on hitting that follow button. It's zero dollars and zero cents. Support is free. So why not do it? <laughs> well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. Ooh, he's I got a that was fastball good. command. And a Next up, Jose Trevino. He now singled in his first it. A.B. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. So now here is Andre Brooks. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Martin's back to the track as he takes it. For Perfect swing. Two. That's a fly out. What a surprise. And now he's about to get dick and sick. Uh, about to say get swept. But now I get swept. About to get robbed and split a game. Split a series that we should have won. Throw to first is in time, one gun. 
Scam me out of two hits. Leading off the inning, it'll be Andre Brooks. And they Should have been on base both times with no outs. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. This is pulled into right. And another scam. Kegel is there. One quick out to start it. A 2 0. Huh. Thought he was about to gain some ground. Guess not. Lost. 30 and 27. Sheesh. I'll be right back, y'all. Yeah?
Guess who's Bazette? Play <laughs> y'alls. Friday Night Baseball now from Fenway Park here in Boston. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. Get ready for Red Sox and baseball now, next. 2022. Next to dig in, Andre Brooks. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting it. Boy, talking about a damaged season. Leads the league in home runs and runs batted in. This guy has a legitimate shot to win the Triple Crown. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four of the first five, that's substance. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch. And and that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Two on, now two out for him here in the, the third. J.D. Martinez. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Box settled. For... So now into the box oh, is Andre Brooks. Brooks. Flew out Andre. last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Into the corner and slicing foul. And it's fouled away. No runs. Yeah, I'm all no done hits. with this yeah, game. No <laughs> I'm swinging that nonsense. High Time for me to get off. To center field. Verdugo waits on it. And that retires the side. Bottom of the inning now. And up next will be the power Big hitting off. first baseman, Wonder Big Jesus off. Aguilar. The first now the 0 1. Jesus. Wow. Hit sharply on the ground. He's got it. Bro, throw the ball. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. Next up for the Red Sox, now, Christian Vasquez. Vasquez. He flew out in his last A.B. Hit on the ground to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So now to the plate, Andre Brooks, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And this will be fouled away. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. Fastball misses inside. It's even at 1. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's... Striding in for Boston, Kike Hernandez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set, and the 1-2 pitch. Hit on the ground out for short. Scooped up. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Into the box, Jalen Miller has got a hit in three at bats to this point. Comes set, the 0 1, grounded to short, fielded cleanly. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball. 
Yimmy Garcia comes on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Andre Brooks is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning, 1-0. That evens it up one and one. Now here's the pitch. Shoots this one to first. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. Strike taken, the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Looked to me like they anticipated him trying to swipe that bag. I mean, the pitcher shortened his delivery to the plate, but it didn't make a difference in the slightest. He still swiped that bag. That's a strike to throw down. And he is in there at third as the possible go-ahead score. So here's the cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto. He has the possible go-ahead run only 90 feet away at third base. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the go-ahead run stays at third with one big out on the scoreboard now. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. Oh, they might pitch Come around him here ball, with a couple of bases empty. Hit toward the right side. A fucking hit. Delivered on three and two as he comes up big. It's a base hit. And that'll bring home the runner from third to make this a close one tonight. Two to one, the final score. Win. Afternoon baseball for you now on the show coming your way from venerable Fenway Park here in Boston. Today we've got a contest out of the American League East between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. It's Red Sox baseball on the show and it comes your way next. Nate Valdi will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together. Stepping up is Andre Brooks as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Turner leads off first with one away. Another one sent foul. Now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Lifted the other way to left center. Gamble is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Six runs in one inning. Now to the plate, I love this man. Andre Brooks flew out last time up. Grounded to the right. Reined in. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. And now in the box, Andre Brooks grounded out in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. 
offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. He waits. Now the pitch. Tapped up the first baseline. Here he comes again, one, two. Nope, that's this is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Count remains two and two. From the belt, the pitch. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Back up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. The relay throw, and he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw. And now JD Martinez. This game's over any little bit really fucking matter. Any other team can come back from seven to one, but not me. Hit to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Probably gonna have a last for a while. Nice effort by the shortstop. Now at the plate, here is Andre Brooks. First pitch on its way. Swing and oh my! Hit him with the high. Hit him with the hand. Get out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was <laughs> nine to oh, three. Oh, fuck final this game. Here in this one. Boston jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. For the victorious Boston Red Sox. Sunday afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you inside Fenway Park in Boston. Today it's the rubber match of this three game series. Major League Baseball on. Digging in will be Andre Brooks, who comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. Well, these Red Sox enter in play here this afternoon. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Looking up is the center fielder. To the track, to the wall. And that one is gone. Wow, with that blast, he will gain entrance into the elite 40. Yo, I can't make this shit up. Yo, you see how it's always four more runs in one inning? So stepping in is Christian I can take the two. Should I even take matchup, three or two on the first inning? But four, yo, no come on. Like, come sure. on. Scooped up. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, it'll be Andre Brooks, and they could use a spark from him here. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Swing and a miss for strike one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Fouled off. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. Good battle. Count remains full. The 3-2 one more time. Lifted in the air to center field. Gamble will wait on it. And he's got it for the first out. Oh. 
Now at the plate is Andre Brooks. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Fastball well outside. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Into right field, that's a base hit. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. That makes it a 6-2 to two game. Two men on, two out. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Runner goes for second. And a fastball misses there, ball four. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. He's one for two in the ball game. The one two. Runners on his way to third. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Here's the center fielder. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes. Next, it'll be Andre Brooks singled in his last at bat. Hit down the line at first. And he dives, but he can't make the play. It lands foul. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box. Meanwhile, now, this is a drive out to straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. Well, he's as hot as anybody in the game right now. Here's J.D. Martinez. Now the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. He's got it. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. Him and him down five. <laughs> now a guy we've been marveling at all game. J.D. Martinez. And he needs just a crazy. cycle. Let's see if he can put one in the gap. Hard. He's right and there. He was a stand and a half. And and Travis, get the like. Travis, I appreciate the like. Nice over. rep. Hey, man. Red Sox leave this game is scam, bro. <laughs> to appreciate that like, though. Thank you, man. Welcome to the screen. Andre Brooks gets another chance at the play. Yeah, man. For y'all that's just that's just tuning in, man. We on the road to 1K. We are, I feel, believe, three followers away from 1K. So, if you enjoying the content that you're seeing, feel free to hit that follow button. It costs you nothing. I did not mean to take that screenshot. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Hit to third. Devers gloves it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Baltimore down to their final strike. And the runner's breaking for third. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. He's got it, and the Red Sox have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game. Hold up. All right, so I think that's going to be my last game. Um, 
appreciate everybody who tuned in, which, uh, who watched. Uh, we're going for almost three and a half hours. Appreciate y'all. Um, again, we, we are about three followers away from 1K. So if you was enjoying what you was watching, if you haven't already, hit that follow button, hit that like button, hit the share button. Feel free to do whatever to support your boy. Um, game kind of pissing me off, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I'll probably be on in a couple hours. My head feeling a whole lot better, so... Um, yeah, I'll, just be on, I'll be on in a couple hours. I might play some 2K, might play some more MLB. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and again, we got supporter games going on at 6 p.m. Uh, MLB, Diamond Dynasty. So open to those who are supporters and who have donated 1K stars within the current month, which is the month of June. Uh, to meet those requirements, you can get in on uh, uh, supporter games, MLB supporter games. Um Again, the game's starting at 6. I'll go live at 6 and first come, first serve. I, you know, don't matter to me. You hop in, you drop a comment, you in. <laughs> All right, but I'm out, y'all. I'll catch y'all in a little bit. AG2K out. <laughs>